Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at moment generating functions and also ga gamma random variables. Let y be the sum of two independent variables x1 and x2. Okay, so y is equal to x1 plus x2. Show that the moment generating function, which is to say the MGF of y, is the product of the MGFs of x1 and x2. And the second part is let x1 and x2 be independent gamma random variables with parameters alpha1 lambda and alpha2 lambda. So lambda there is in common, respectively. Show Use moment generating functions to show that y equals x1 plus x2. So y is also a gamma random variable and specify its parameters. Now, so in this case, there's two ways of specifying the gamma distribution here. And sometimes I deliberately mix up the notation, but in this case, I'll be very clear that we're actually using the second type, which is using the shape parameter and the rate parameter there. So alpha and lambda. Now in this case, so that one minus t over alpha to the power of minus t over lambda to the power of minus alpha, that is the moment generating function. We'll come back to that shortly. We don't need that right now. So, uh, just clear up my brackets here. So the expected value, so the moment generating function of y, the variable y, is the expected value of e to the t times y. Okay. So that's just a general form there. Okay. And just to, we'll just, usually we write it in terms of x, but here we'll just write it in terms of y. So the expected value of the exponential of t times y. Okay, now here we're told that y is equal to x1 plus x2. So essentially what I'm doing here is just replacing y with x1 plus x2. And my brackets are all over the place here. So using that expression here, so it's the, this is the important thing here to remember. The expected, or the exponential of a plus b is a e to the power of a times e to the power of b. Okay. And that's essentially what we've done there. That's all we've done. So we have the expected values of e to the t times x1 plus x2. Just split that up into tx1 plus tx2. And then just use this law here just to sort of separate it into two different exponentials. The expected value part we don't have to worry about really. The expected value of a times b is the expected value of a times the expected value of b if that's the case. So the expected value part there is not so important. Okay, so what we have there is that is the moment generating function of x1 and this is the moment generating function of x2. So essentially it is the product of, of the two, which is exactly what we're asked to show. So this is it here. It's really just using this law here, this rules of exponentials have all that ready, exponentials, logarithms, sequences, sequences and series, quotient rules, all that fundamental stuff, have that ready in your mind. Okay, so we're moving on to the second part here. And in this case, what we have to do here is find out what the, exp the moment generating function is, okay? So we're on to part B, and what we have to do here is evaluate the moment generating function of Y, which is the sum of X1 plus X2. Now, in the first video, or in the first part of the, this video, we essentially established that it was the product of the two MGFs of the component parts. And this is the expression for both of those there, okay? So it is minus alpha one, in one case and then minus alpha two in the other. Okay, so sorry, I have it done down here. I just I had to reset the video there. So essentially what we have to do is multiply these two expressions out. Okay, uh, alpha is, alpha one and alpha two is the, uh, in both cases, but lambda is common to both. I'll just actually redraw that bracket, okay? So essentially what we have here is one minus T over Lambda to the power of minus alpha one. That's uh, MX, M of X one of T. And then one minus T over Lambda to the power of minus Lambda over two, uh, to the power of minus alpha over two. Essentially, this is straightforward enough. What we have to do there is just add them. Okay. 
So that's minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2. Okay, so that means that y is a gamma random variable. Let's use blue here. y is a gamma random variable. I'll just write in gamma here. There's actually a symbol for it. Uh, with the, this is our shape parameter alpha 1 plus alpha 2. And the rate parameter there is the denominator of this fraction here, which is still lambda. Okay, so that's it. So it is a y is a gamma random variable with parameters alpha 1 plus alpha 2 as are added together as a single uh, shape parameter and lambda as our rate parameter. Okay, so that's straightforward enough. Moment generating functions of gamma random variables is not particularly hard really. It's having a solid understanding of the basics really helps. Okay, we'll leave it there.